I'll go over this. Um, so, ladies and gentlemen, on this example, the first thing that we want to understand is, again, looking at this, and obviously if we're going to want to use u substitution. And we could say that my inside function is going to be an x plus 2. And once I have that as an x plus 2, then obviously that's going to be my du. Now the next thing I'll want to do is um, go ahead and take the derivative of that to get my du dx, which is just equal to 1. So I could say du is equal to dx, right? And great, I have my dx, but I do have an extra x. So I'm just going to write extra x, and I'll say u equals x plus 2. And then I'm just going to go ahead and solve for x so I can replace that. So u minus 2 is equal to x. Okay, Therefore, I can replace this with a u minus 2 square root of u du. Now, does everybody see that everything has been taken care of? Matto, you got that? Okay. Um, so now I can distribute this. I can rewrite this. Instead of to the square root, I'll rewrite that to the 1 half. Therefore, I'm going to apply the distributive property here. And therefore, I'll, I'm going to want to integrate u to the um, u times that. It's going to be 3 halves minus 2 u to the 1 half. Now I can use the difference property of integration and integrate them separately. So therefore, I'll have u to the um, plus 2 over 2, which is going to be 5 halves times 2 over 5 minus the 2. And integrate that is going to be u to the 3 halves times 2 thirds. And then plus c at the end. Then um, what now what I can do is go ahead and plug back in my um, u's. And I can multiply this uh, negative 2 and 2. So therefore, my final answer is 2 times x plus 2, because that was my u to the 5 halves divided by 5 minus 4 times x plus 2 to the 3 halves <laughs> divided by 3 plus c. OK? Got it, Mary? All right.